Hey guys, it's Amber with Social Speak. It is coming up on the end of 2018. I know it's hard to believe that. And we don't even have like a full eight weeks left until 2019 comes. And I love this time of year because in a, in a past video, I've talked about, you know, the entrepreneur mindset is you either kind of nestle in for the winter or you think of the goals that you still want to meet and you're like, okay, I have eight more weeks and I can get this done. The other thing that you should be thinking of as an entrepreneur coming, you know, this November time is I always like to think of your, doing your social media audit of what's worked. And I think of it as doing, you know, going through your wardrobe and your, um, in your personal life. Like I always like to go through my clothes at the end of the year to see what I haven't worn, what doesn't work, you know, you know, Christmas is coming. So, um, you know, you're going to be getting, I always get new clothes. So you go through and you take out the old and you put in the new. And that's kind of the same thing with your social media audit. You want to go through your content because content is king. And that is what allows your business to thrive online is your content. And this is your social media posts. This is your videos. This is your blogging. And you need to go through each of those areas and see what posts got the most engagement? Was it, you know, putting videos to your Facebook page rather than just a static post? Was it motivational quotes or was it recipes? Was it those personal stories rather than just putting up an article? What posts got more engagement, more likes, more comments, more shares? Those are what you want to keep replicating for your new for the new year for your content marketing strategy look at if you're just and curated content is great so sharing articles from other sources is a great idea but are you just sharing that article and not getting a lot of traction on it and what happens if you maybe make a custom image for that post or give your two cents of why this article you know is important to you what is your opinion on it or your thought on it so adding a little bit more to that post rather than just sharing an article you know and, and its link so it's time to take you know take an hour of the week go through all your social media go through your YouTube see you know how many likes or subscribers you you've gotten on certain videos um, your blogs check your I always like using one of the the share plugins so you can see how many times a blog post was shared and so if there's blog posts that nobody shared maybe you haven't been putting them out there correctly maybe you need help on the back end with your your seo and and the whole website thing maybe you're not even blogging so you're like what do i do um so but check that that website traffic you know are they reading your blogs are your blogs getting out there what topics are more engaging than others so you start looking at what has worked for 2018 and start writing it down so as you put your content strategy together for 2019 then you know okay I need to do more videos I need to do more lives I need to create custom images and you can kind of look at how much time that's going to take you and if that's something that you can handle or if that's something that you need to say you know what if i want my digital marketing to go from here to here i need to bring on a team to help assist with that so i would love to hear what things have worked for you in 2018 as far as your content strategy and what things you want to change in 2019 and if you need help don't forget we're here to help you have a great day